All right, so let's learn Unity. So first of all, like, uh, open up your internet browser and just type in uh, Unity download. And just click on the first link. Click on choose your Unity plus download. and get the personal version and this is free unity is a free game engine uh, it has been used to make like AAA titles indie games and stuff so yeah we'll have fun <laughs> so yeah once once you get that downloaded install it once you've installed it uh, open it up and then uh, make a new project and you would have this then okay so so what is all this well uh, this is what we're gonna learn today so first is uh, what is a game object and uh, an introduction to scripting in C sharp um, and we're gonna make a demo a rotating cube this is a really simple demo and yeah so let's get to it so first off you're greeted with this and this is the hierarchy scene hierarchy game objects are stuff that are here stuff that are in under this uh, hierarchy and in your scene or in your assets as a prefab I'll show that later um, yeah, so uh, your camera, your camera is right there, and your game view, yeah. So your game view shows what your camera sees, and your scene view so it shows what your scene looks like. So, so yeah, so this is the point of view from your camera. Now, if I rotate this, if I rotate the camera, see, game view would rotate as well. Okay, so, well, we're going to make a rotating cube. What do we need first? A cube. How do you get a cube? Well, click on game object, 3D object, click on cube, and there you have it. That's a cube. Why is it not there in the game window? Well, look at this. The camera is inside the cube. So, it won't render it uh, you have to take the cube and move it to the front there you see the cube right okay now oh yeah uh, you can you need to save the scene as well to uh, so that later you can just reload your scene and work on it again and to do that just do control s and this thing will pop up and you can just type in anything scene one okay and all your scenes will be under the project window over here okay you can you can make folders scenes and like put the scene in or whatever um yeah so now next thing is now if, if you press play It's true you have a cube, but it's not rotating. We want it to rotate. Now, how do you rotate? Well, look at this, right? If you click on cube here and look at the inspector window, you have so many things. You have the mesh filter, box collider, mesh renderer, transform. Now, we're going to be working with transforms here. Now, look at this. If I take the cube and I'm like change the scale, the scale will change right see now if I change the position the position would change right we want to make a rotating cube so we want it to rotate like that see it's rotating right but we don't want to keep doing this because we want it to be in such a way where that when we press play it should just keep rotating on its own now it's like stationary at the moment right 
so what we need to do is we need to go to the project right click create C sharp script name it anything I'll name it uh, cube rotate script okay now you can think of scripts as like the brain of game objects okay you can control you can control all these things the transform cube uh, mesh filter box collider mesh render everything through scripts so um, le let's open it up let's open the script up look this this takes a while right now here's a piece of information that no youtuber gives about uh, wh uh, when like learning unity no one talks about this look it's it's like so slow right so what I can do is I can go back it opened up but let's not use this because I don't want to use this so I'm just gonna close this so what you can do is C sharp is not like C sharp is a script is not something that gets compiled to machine language scripting C sharp is a scripting language so like the lines get executed one by one it's not compiled to machine language so uh, what we can do is we can just right click show an explorer look you, you saw that when I opened it up it opened up in Visual Studio when you open it up it might open up in a different uh, script editor maybe mono develop but what we can do is and no one says this on YouTube I don't know why this is the easier way okay like to open it up and you don't want to wait for so long like your ID to start mono develop or like Visual Studio or whatever so what you do is right click show in Explorer and then just right click on the script open with you can even use wordpad to just do everything you want here okay so uh, yeah it's it's good that if you use like a scripting uh, a scripting IDE uh, you can like get autocomplete and everything but we're not gonna do that here I mean I'm not gonna do that here you can so uh, yeah so let's uh, okay look so we wanna change we want to change the transform of this cube right so what do we need to do well uh, just and we want to rotate the cube so let's do transform oh yeah there, there are two functions here start function and update function start is uh, run when uh, the script gets initialized so when your game starts uh, the start function gets run okay and then update gets out, uh, gets called once per frame it says it over here see okay so okay just just for the sake of the tutorial I'll use Visual Studio I'll, I'll close this or actually no I'll I'll do it over here so let's okay look we want to rotate right so the code for that is transform dot rotate okay and then you can pass in a new vector 3 I'll I'll tell you what all these means uh, 0 F uh, 45 okay now if I save this control s go back here this see unity knew that I have changed it see transform dot rotate is now here right so I told you that the start function gets run once and then update gets run like once per frame so now if I run this look at this the cube is like straight looking at us right so when I run it nothing happens why why does nothing happen well look at the cube there is no script attached to it right we need to attach this rotate script drag it and drop it onto the object 
like that. Now you have the cube rotate script on it. Now when we run it, look, it became 45 degrees, right? So it got turned, but it didn't keep turning. I want it to keep turning. How? Well, I told you that start function gets run only once, right? So we need to shift this to the update function. Now let me not use WordPad. I'm going to use Visual Studio so that you can see that there's like autocomplete and everything. So I'm going to open this. Yours might be mono develop. Uh, I'll show you how to change that later at a later uh, episode. But for this, let me just show you. Okay, so you see, like, if I write transform here, look, it's autocomplete, right? And you see, there are two transforms, okay? This is like the capital one, and this is like the uh, not capital one. I uh, use the not capital one to rotate the thing, to rotate the cube. So do dot rotate. Look, see, it's autocomplete, and then you can you can even get. What do we need? We need a vector three Euler angles. Now, if you know, like math, uh, you know that Euler angle rotations are rotation around three axes, x, y, and z, and it's subject to many problems. But let's not talk about that now. We'll address that later. New vector three. 0f let's do uh, 10 degrees per frame 0f okay now let's see what happens go back here it got updated and let's run it oh shit it's moving too fast I don't want it to move this fast so what do I do and this is it's moving so fast because it's running once per frame okay we don't want that to be once per frame what if okay let's say i want to move this 30 degree 30 degrees per second okay i cannot do if i do if i do this now this would run so fast look we do we want it to move 30 degrees per second not 30 degrees per frame so what we can do is we can multiply this vector we can multiply this vector by time dot delta time what is time dot delta time well So time dot delta time is the time that has elapsed after since the last frame. Since the last frame, how much time has passed? And this is in seconds. And you'll get like if you debug this, if you log this, debug dot log time dot delta time dot two string. Now if you do this and you check your console, run it. Look, it's running it's running at 30 degrees per second. Okay? And if you look at this, see this is the value of your uh, of your delta time. So this is like how many seconds have passed since the last frame. So you can find the FPS uh, frames per second by just uh, one second divided by how many like how many frames right so so one divided by time the delta time will give you the FPS let's try that let's do that. 
1 divided by times the delta time. So we're running at more than 60 frames a second. Yeah, we're running at more than 60 frames a second. It's a very simple scene, right? And I think it's we synced. That's why it's like 60 frames per second. But yeah, you can see it rotating, right? So another thing what we can do is we can make, uh, if, if you look at the script here, we don't have any parameters, right? We can make parameters by just doing public. Now look at this. This let's let's rotate one degree per second, and then multiply it by some speed. Multiply it by some speed. Now what is this speed variable? Let's make it over here. Float speed. Okay now when we go back here you will see that the cube rotate script has a parameter now if I rotate by zero if I rotate by zero uh, it doesn't rotate at all this is like 45 degrees from the beginning from the start function now if I start to increase this you can see that it starts rotating the more I increase, the faster it rotates. See? So let's let's rotate 360 degrees a second. Look, it's making a whole um, rotation, like a whole 360 degree rotation per second. Let's do 180. This is rotating at 180 degrees per second so yeah so now we've learned we've learned what game objects are game objects are whatever you see on this these things so the the main camera is a game object the directional light is a game object the cube is a game object you can have a sphere as well if you want a sphere that's a game object so all, all these things are game objects okay and then uh, C sharp intro scripting. So this is the introduction to how to make a rotating cube. That's the most simple thing that you can ever make, really. <laughs> right. So yeah, I'll I'll see you in the next video. Peace.